In this interior real estate photography tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deal with those annoying ceiling fan shadows that you get when using your flash in that flash layer like this. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of it and clean it up in one easy step, but you got to know what to do. So let's get into Lightroom and get going. All right. So here is that annoying flash sh um, shot and that shadow that is created by almost every ceiling fan. And this is typically why I like to run with lights off because when you leave the light on with your ambient layer, it just blooms like this and it makes it almost useless to use the any ceiling shot. So what I do is I come into the room and I pop another flash making sure you're away from that ceiling fan far enough and it pretty much gets rid of that shadow that was right there and you could also use this for your window pull but this one would also work for that too and I'm going to show you how to quickly eliminate like cords and things like that that are on the floor now be careful you can't start going around and eliminating too much stuff unless it is fixable or the homeowner is going to fix it before they list it or things that can't physically be removed you're not allowed to delete those like for example exterior photos you're not allowed to delete power lines that are in the shot and that kind of thing but that's just stuff that you're gonna have to learn what you can and cannot do according to MLS rules so I'm just going to click all these and let's just get them into Photoshop so once we have all three layers into Photoshop what we're going to do, let's just turn off that ambient layer for now. And let's work on our flash layer. So you got to think about this for um, how are we going to merge these two images together to where we can get rid of that shadow. So what we want to do is I want to typically move my flash layer, the, the, the correction layer, above our normal flash layer. So when we do click on our layer mask and then command I to invert it, we're back here and now we can paint in slowly. So you notice I have my flow at 5%, my opacity is at 100. We're just going to start painting out that shadow. Now if we were doing this on the ambient layer only, you know that would be blooming out really crazy. And that's again why I like to run with lights off. And there we go. We got a nice clean ceiling now to work with and we can turn our ambient layer back on. Now here's a method that I absolutely love to do and again this may or may not work because of how much that is blooming but I'm going to show you how to fix this. So I like to just come up here and click on my ambient layer and take the ambient layer and just put it at 50%. Um, that mixes in enough ambient to where it doesn't look so flashy if we turn this on and off see the difference but notice how it it really it screwed up our nice clean ceiling so what we can do is just create a layer a layer mask don't invert it make sure you're on black over here brush is selected and just lightly paint back in our nice clean our flash layer for that ceiling and then we're done. So now we got to move on to eliminating this mess over here. So I'm going to right click, come down to flatten image. I'm going to command J to duplicate the layer and making sure that the top layer is selected. I'm going to zoom in here and scroll over. Now there's several different things you could do. Probably the easiest one is to take the lasso tool. Now this may or may not work because this is all using AI within Photoshop. We're going to come up here to edit, fill, make sure content aware is selected and hit OK. And it's just going to do whatever it thinks it needs to do. Sometimes it gets it. Yeah, it got it pretty close. A little bit of um, you can see where it didn't quite match that. It looks like it's bowing. But let's back out. I mean, it's super, it's not very noticeable at all. But let's, Command Z. I just keep hitting Command Z to back out of all that. Here's another method that I like to use is the patch tool. So what you're going to do is you're going to circle whatever you want to eliminate. 
and then we're just going to drag that down and you can pretty much match what you want to get and see how I'm trying to line up the the molding and again we screwed it up a little bit there it isn't really that bad and again if you're trying to hurry you don't need to get this perfect but you can keep going through and trying to fix these that's not too horrible command z again i'm going to back out of this i'm going to show you one more final method that i like to use and it's this one it's the clone stamp tool so what the clone stamp tool is going to do is pretty much clone other parts of the image so where you're at you have to hit option click and then let off and just drag and we're going to try to just click click as I'm, I'm just clicking moving clicking moving this one takes a little bit more practice I'm just clicking around the image and right below it is where it's taking samples and that's another way to eliminate that that actually did the best job the clone stamp tool does a really good job so if we command and then bracket or command and then minus sign to back out that eliminated it probably the best look at that how awesome that is all right so that's it we're just going to flatten the image command s to save it and it brings it back into lightroom for us i'm just going to do my interior final bump maybe for this room we up the vibrance a little bit more but see once you start doing that you start getting color cast coming in so i typically don't like to mess with the vibrance even in a, a plain Jane room like this, I just typically leave it. Maybe it's pushed to the right, the histogram, a little bit too much. Maybe open those shadows up just a little bit more. All right, so there you go. That's how you mix those three images together. Clean up the ceiling and making sure you have proper even exposure on that ceiling when dealing with ceiling fans. So make sure to, to hit that subscribe button. Click the like button too. Why not while you're at it? We got a lot more tutorials coming up. I just got back from a listing, so I'm going to be editing that one. And I'm going to show you some tricks that I already learned from that listing on how to light multiple rooms and how to light exterior porches that are enclosed off of a master bedroom. So you don't want to miss that. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.